will uh, now get started. Could I have a roll call? John Eichmann. Steve Caswell. Michael O'Brien. Lori G. John Cutler. Craig Smith. Ed Mielschi. Great. If everyone would join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we have two upcoming meeting dates. Just reminding the board, we have meetings now on a monthly basis, and we'll have the um, meetings on the first Tuesday of the month if necessary. So our next two upcoming meeting dates right now are March 20th and April 17th. Um, we have one set of minutes to approve, and Pam, I apologize, I did not get a chance to look at them yet, so if we could hold them till the next meeting, um, that would be great. So the first item on our agenda tonight is uh, a decision for Heritage Acre Two Lot Subdivision on East Hook Road. Uh, it's just just on for decision. So if we have, if there's any questions from our professionals or from the board, we may ask them of you. But it's not a public hearing tonight. Yep. Good evening, uh, Tom Sochier from TEC Land Surveying. <clears throat> here on behalf of Sina Cutson, uh, seeking approval of a two lot subdivision here on East Hook Road. Okay, great. Has any any changes made <clears throat> since the last time we saw this at the close of the public hearing? Nope. Okay. Same map. All right, great. Michelle or Scott, any questions or comments from you? Okay. Um, board members, any questions or comments that we want to review? No. Uh, the only thing I was wondering about was the um, right away access um, to lot one where that was going to come in. Okay. All right. Is that a condition? Yeah, that's a condition in the approval resolution as well. And it's noted on the map there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, and if there's no other questions or comments, I'll go ahead. We have a negative declaration dated tonight um, for Heritage Acre, no S, LLC. Right. <laughs> right. um, the description of the action is uh, a combination and subdivision of two lots totaling 322 acres on East Hook Road in East Fishkill, New York. Proposed action would combine the tax parcels together while subdividing one of the parcels into two lots. Um, so I think it, it's the it's ultimately it's two lots going to two lots. It's just kind of a re reline of the of the subdivision. Um, the acreage of newly subdivided lot one would be 217 acres, and the acreage of the newly subdivided lot two would be 105 <coughs> acres. Um, this was an unlisted action for the purpose of seeker, because it's just a subdivision. Um, we've reviewed a short form EAF and the survey and subdivision plans. And during the course of that review and during our public hearing, we did not identify any environmental factors um, that would require any sort of mitigation. Again, this is just the subdivision. There's no proposed development or anything like that. And any additional development on the parcels would come back before us. But that, again, that's not planned right now or, right. or intended for the future. Um, so with that information, do I have a motion to approve the negative declaration? So move. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Um, does someone want to offer the resolution? Sure. Thanks, John. Uh, resolution of pre preliminary and final approval. Subdivision Heritage Acre LLC. Date of original plan October 20th, 2017. Location East Hooked Road. Tax number 6355-00-600050 and 849-0-2017. Resolution offered by Planning Board Member John Cutler. Whereas the above reference applicant has applied to the town for a two lot subdivision, and whereas Cena Cutson is working with the applicant on this subdivision and acquisition of the property, and whereas Cena Cutson has presented to the Planning Board its intentions for use of the property proposed for the subdivision in furtherance of its original organizational conservation purposes, and whereas the Planning Board held a public hearing on December 19, 2017, and whereas the Planning Board has reviewed the narrative and plan submitted and taken into account the comments made at the public hearing, as well as the comments from the town consultants. Whereas the action is considered to be an unlisted action under seeker, 
for which a coordinated review was not undertaken. And whereas the planning board determined the proposed would not have any adverse environmental impacts. And whereas a negative declaration was adopted on February 20th, 2018. And now therefore be it resolved that the planning board approves the proposed subdivision plan prepared by TEC land surveying dated October 20th, 2017 and last revised 2000, uh, November 28th, 2017. And be it further resolved that, this, that the approval is subject to the following conditions. Number one, in the event of any future conveyance of lot one separate from lot 6355-00-640370, an access right of way shall be reserved across lot 6355-00-640370 to benefit lot one, which the which right away shall be subject to approval of the <coughs> town attorney. Anything oh, else? Hold on right there. Wait. So that um, and so that is what you're already showing on the plan as the proposed right of way. So or is that no on the plan right here? <coughs> right away for access over lot six three five five zero zero six four zero three seven zero. Okay. Right. And <clears throat> it is not intended to be a separate conveyance at this time, is that no. correct? No. Okay. And then we just have, we have to add a two. Say it again? We have to add a two. Okay. Which will be that drainage easement, if, if necessary, that we just discussed. The drainage easement? Well, I thought that we had already well, let's just make it as a condition that subject to final town approval in this way. If it's approved, it's done. Let's just have it in there. I don't have a record of that, so and Tom's not here. Well, do you have a copy of the easement? Well, I, I think he can point it out to us up here on which, which parcel that was. Right, but the text of the easement. Right. Mm -hmm. no. no, he's talking about a different condition. He's talking about the um, the condition he's talking about is the right of way that's been reserved. Right? That's one. Right. And we're talking about two. That's not listed. Right. And I'll note that the it was for that for, was for that culvert. So I'm just I'm sorry. Can I just have you come up to the mic? We want to make sure we capture everything for the, for the minutes. Well, that's remember that being discussed. Yeah, it's Yeah, I guess, um, you know, if we could get some clarity on the condition and I'll note further that the, um, the drainage easement isn't actually located on this subdivision parcel. It's located on that adjoining parcel with the access. Can you yeah. point that out? It's on this parcel. Okay. okay. It's, at, it's at the end here because the drainage is just going through. But it's still part of this action though, right? No, I don't think that it is. It's right here. Yes. Yeah, so the easement was, this is the easement that was provided by the current owner to, the, um, to, the, to Tom. And I believe that is this, is this Is this access or drainage? This is, that's drainage. Okay. Right, that's the drainage <laughs> for TPs and everything for signature and approval by the town. So that's a, that sort of precedes this. This is just a... You know, so is that an easement that's already been filed or already in existence? It hasn't been filed. It's been presented to the town by the current owner for approval to clear up wh what's currently on the property, which is a which is a which is a ditch. Okay. So how does this get incorporated into this then? And we just refer back to this then. If this is what's been agreed to, being that it hasn't been filed yet, because what guarantees that it's going to be filed? We want it filed. I get that. So why would you object to then just being well, including some? Well, I just want to be clear about what. We know, can reference this, and I think we could reference this. Is there a date on this? You mean something that's on So the we could say something like, subject to the filing of the proposed drainage easement. Substantially, the form on file with the board. Yeah. yeah. yeah it, it'll always say subject to the town attorney's review. If our town attorney's already reviewed it, then that would. 
that's fine. Right, but I just want to make sure we have some certainty about what sure. we're doing at 6.30. Right. Come back and have to right. readdress this there. So we could we could put this as an exhibit. Uh, we could put this as a reference this as yeah, an there's attachment. Actually, um, <coughs> Scott, there's another easement attached to that, which is the the one for the um, which is separate. They just printed out two of them. This is already, and there's uh, another one for the fire company that the, was also design. offered. Fire district <laughs> offered by the current owner. Just It'd to resolve, like just to resolve <coughs> encroachments that show up. I'm sorry. When was this submitted? Okay. The court and return to Tom Wood, town attorney. So I mean, but I really, that was for the town board, you know, consideration for the town's consideration because it's their, it would be their easement. Right. So the town's improvement. Right. Well, since since it's in process, I think we should have it as just a subject to to make sure it's eventually filed. I don't I don't think there's any need to recommend that. There's any changes to it, Scott? It looks like it's already been prepared substantially right, in right. conformance so with anything. Right, we close it out. Yeah. That All is right. filed. Okay, so a second. Again, we don't have anything from Tom. You know, <clears throat> right. I'm not doubting, but we just don't have any document from Tom saying that it's doesn't need to be edited in some minor way. I don't know. Okay, uh, bear with me here one moment. So a second one would be um, second condition filing of the um, proposed drainage easement that has been presented to the town board. I don't know if it's been presented to the town board. It's been presented to the town attorney. Proposed. Okay. Filing of the proposed drainage easement. Subject to. I'll just say subject to the approval of the town attorney and town board. That works. Because that's the normal process for those. Yeah, I just, I don't know where Tom is. I thought he was never here tonight, so I don't know where he is in the process of getting that approved. Okay. Um, we, we can ask that uh, our office just follows up and lets you know where that is and, and the timing on it. And we just need to make sure that, you know, we need to be able to file our map. So, you know, we're happy to offer the drainage easement for, you know, He'll be in tomorrow, and I'll review it with him tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Scott. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so again, uh, subject to the filing of the proposed drainage easements. Uh, sorry. Bear with me. Uh, subject to filing conditions. Filing of the proposed drainage easement subject to the approval of the town attorney and town board. And that's again normally our town supervisor assigns these easements, so that's that's nothing unusual or in, out of the ordinary for us. It's just important that <clears throat> the process happens within the sixty days we have to file the map. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And again, you've already submitted this to the town attorney, so I'm, I'm, my guess is it seems like it's in substantially correct form. So I, I think you're probably close. Okay. Um, and just Pam, a note, we, we're missing the now therefore paragraph in our copy of the resolution, so I'm just gonna have John finish reading it from the next resolution, but we need right. to insert it before we finalize the copy. Be it further resolved that within five business days of the adoption of this resolution, the chair or other duly authorized member of the planning board shall cause a copy of this resolution to be filed with the town clerk and a copy sent to the applicant owner. Okay, do I have a second? Second. Uh, seconded by Michael and votes as follows. Uh, Jason? Aye. Michael? Aye. John Cutler? Aye. Craig? Aye. Steve? Aye. John Eichmann? Aye. And myself, aye. The motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next item on our agenda is a public hearing for Metzger at 27 Orchard Place, a special permit for an office. Did you need the copy of the easement back, or are we able to keep this for our file? Okay, thank you. Uh, good evening, Dennis Lynch with Day Engineering. Uh, okay. Give us one second, I'm sorry. Did we have everything we need to open the public hearing? <laughs> okay, thank you, Pam. Uh, do I have a motion to open the public hearing? So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Okay, sorry about that. And do we have a copy of your plan to put up on the board? Uh, I got it. Great. Do you want me to wait or do you want to? No, it, no? as long as it's okay. going to be up there in a yeah, moment, yeah. that's fine. <clears throat> uh, good evening, Dennis Lynch with MA Day Engineering. Uh, as you mentioned, we're here for uh, 27 Orchard Place. Um, it's a 0 0.46 acre site um, it, that is uh, currently consists of a two-story uh, two uh, single-family home. Uh, the applicant is looking to convert the existing building to an office use. Um, this is allowed by special use um, with the uh, properties that are adjacent to industrial uh, properties, which this is, um, what we are proposing uh, is to pave the existing driveway uh, and provide five parking spots, um, four regular stalls and one ADA, uh, and a uh, walkway to the rear of the building. Um, the operation, it's going to consist of three employees. Uh, the, op the hours of operation would be uh, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, and that's really about it. Okay. Before we go to public comment, Michelle, I know you have a comment letter dated hey, this one, uh, back in November. I think it's just been a little while since we've seen this one. Anything that we should call out here? I know there's, there's conditions for the special permit. Does this application meet those conditions? Yes, it does. Okay. And that, anything else? That, yes. Okay. It's, uh, it's dated November 13th. 13th, yes. Um, there was also yeah, there was curbing that was proposed on Orchard Street that just needed to be um, synced with the highway superintendent to make sure that that was okay. And I think that I think he was out there. I don't know that we want the curbing. I think originally curbing. you were going to do a little widening, right, for parking, but we don't want that. Originally there was curbing, um, but we have removed that. I think that was at the uh, request of either engineering or with the or highway. Highway, yes. But wasn't there also a little lot line uh, encroachment? Uh, there is, there's the, um, the, fence. the existing gravel driveway uh, encroaches on the property line here. Um, it's just a, it's a gravel parking lot, so over time it kind of crept over. Uh, what we're proposing to do is to uh, pave the entire area here, uh, and we're going to be restoring that with grass. Uh, having it paved would be, uh, you know, would delineate where that is and stop that from happening. But the bottom future. line, you're going to re remove that encroachment? Yes, That's yes. The bottom line. And that's detailed or? Uh, it's noted, uh, it's hard to see now, but th this area is hatched, um, that hatched area, and there's another uh, area here that's gonna be um, okay. uh, topsoiled and, and grass and seeded. Is there a survey out there? They know exactly where that property line is? There is, yes, there's, there was a survey that was done um, as part of this by. Uh, so you know, you got best markers out there, you know exactly where it is, okay. Yes. The edge of the blacktop's going to be right on the property line, right? Uh, it's going to be uh, about a foot, a foot and a half off of it. Okay. Michelle, it's not a we'll concern right with this line. permit, right? That's that's within mm -hmm. the. I don't think there is a setback requirement right for pavement, so I think we're okay with that. Okay. Anything else from your comment letter, Michelle? No. Okay. But we should probably add as a con something as a condition about the encroachment that will be removed per the site plan on the resolution. Okay. Scott, any other questions or comments? No. Okay. Any other questions or comments from board members? Okay. Then is there, uh, this is a public hearing. Is there anyone here from the public who would like to speak or has questions regarding the application? Going once. I have one question. Okay. Sure, Jason. Um, I'm just looking at some off the uh, Google Maps here. The aerials? So the, yeah, so okay. that, there's like a lot of trees and stuff along the property line there. So when you mitigate pulling back all the gravel and stuff like that, are you taking down any of those trees? No. Okay, so you're just going to pull around it and not? Yeah, basically it's it's a gravel parking lot now, so we'll just be removing that gravel and, and putting down topsoil and, and seeding it. So we won't be removing any of the trees or anything. Okay, I just. Do you want to share the aerial with the, the 
the applicant. I mean, I just see a lot of trees here. The trees are to the left and to the rear, and correct? And okay. All along the edge there, so I just. Okay. And where are the trees as they're oriented on this yeah, map? It's on the I can't tell where your view is from, Jason, on the. Oh, it's right in between. It's right down the property line. That's what I'm saying. Right down that side of the property line. So is it on the other other property, or are there trees on this property? I don't believe there's any trees on this property. It would be on the adjacent property. I think there's uh, some trees located here um, and, and over here, which we're not, it's going to be, it's on the other property, so we're not proposing to remove any trees. Okay. I know sometimes the overlays are off a little bit if you're looking at the tax map. No, overlay, I'm just saying that they're going onto the other property to remove gravel off of it. We don't want them trees taking down and stuff trees. there because there's a line of trees that's in between the two properties. I was just wondering if they were coming down or not. Mm -hmm. Although it, it bears <coughs> mentioning that it's surrounded by businesses on. At and least it is a business lines. right next door. So. Yeah. Okay. So. I mean, this makes sort of a lot of sense. <coughs> is Question. it just the current parking area that's the encroachment right now, or is there anything else that's encroaching? Uh, no, there's a uh, an existing fence that's encroaching from a neighbor okay. over um, on our property, which we're not proposing not in the way. We're not proposing to remove it. Um, but that's not your encroachment. That's their encroachment, yes. and you're not asking not for it no. to be corrected. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just making the notes for the resolution. Bear with me. And is the fence that's on your property going to be removed and all that or when you put in the driveway? Um, which? I just see a fence next to the garage, so I'm just. We're not proposing to remove the fence, no. Isn't that where the driveway's going? There's a fence right this where you No, no. Garage. There's a fence that goes right across next to the garage, the front of the garage, right there. There's a fence that goes right across there. There's a fence that's on the adjacent property. There's not one that's on. Come here and look at the picture. <laughs> that's a fence right on your garage, isn't it? That was, uh, yeah, it's on the property. Uh, no, that's, is that their property or is that your garage? I think that's an older picture. That's not there. That's, that's not there anymore? No. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Is there anyone else who'd like to offer comments? For our 27, uh, sorry, uh, 27 Orchard Place application. Okay, hearing none. Uh, do I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. second. Motion is second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, because this is a very minor action in terms of just the special permit uh, and your very minor site plan changes, we have a resolution we can offer okay. tonight. Um, so does somebody want to offer the resolution? Sure. Thanks, Mike. Resolution to final approval. The name of the project is 27 Orchard Place. Name of the applicant, Creekside Holding Corp. Location is 27 Orchard Place. Resolution offered by Planning Board Member Michael O'Brien. Whereas the Town Board passed a local law on August 26, 2016, allowing limited commercial uses on residential parcels that abut in an industrial district by special permit to provide for better transition between industrial and residentially zoned properties. And whereas the applicant applied for a special permit to construct a professional office in an existing residential house located in a residential district abutting in an industrial district, and whereas the action is considered to be an unlisted action under seeker for which a coordinated review was not undertaken, and whereas the planning board held a public hearing on February 20th, 2018, and whereas the planning board has determined that such a final plan meets the town's requirements for the special permit subject to the conditions set forth below. <coughs> Now for the, be it resolved, the planning board hereby issues a special permit to allow the professional office in an existing residential building located in a residential Third district subject to the, final, the following conditions. One, excuse me, compliance with the conditions requested in the FAB's minutes of November 7th, 2017. You got that yes. one? Yeah. Uh, compliance with the conditions requested in the town planner's letter dated November 13th, 2017. And the FAB come, oh, sorry. I have another condition to add. Okay. Okay, just give me okay. one, one uh, second. Don't we have the removing the encroachment? Yeah, I think you got the verbiage. Right, I have removal of the encroachment of the gravel parking area of on the adjoining parcel, uh, no disturbance on the adjoining, uh, no additional disturbance on the adjoining parcel should occur. And if you could just add. Uh, Disturbed area, restored. 
the, the disturbed area shall be restored with turf. Okay. And is that just on the uh, just on the neighbor's parcel, or are you also removing any of your? Any uh, there's a small. Th okay. There's a, a small area here that's also um, going to be restored. Okay. Um, just Should real quick. be replaced with turf, <clears throat> Scott. I was going to say next. Yes. That's what I heard. <clears throat> okay. Right, you're going to. Uh, yeah, there's a detail. I mean, it's going to be topsoil and, and seeded, yes. <clears throat> Can we say as as shown on the um, site plan? Can you give sure. the, what's the date of the site plan so you can reference that? 12 uh, 17, 12 15, 17. Yes. Okay. Are there, and I should have asked, there's no other site plan changes. Is that correct? No. It's not correct, or there's no other proposed site plan. <laughs> it, yes, yes, it is correct. <laughs> no, I thought you were correct. agreeing. You looked like you yes. were agreeing. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me read it one more time, Michelle and, and Scott. Uh, removal of the encroachment of the gravel parking area on the adjoining parcel. No additional disturbance on the adjoining lot should occur. The disturbed area should be replaced with topsoil and seeded, as shown on the site plan. Dated December 15th, 2017. Dated 12 15 17. Got it. Okay. Um, any other any other changes, additions? Okay. Go ahead, Michael. Be the further resolved within five business days of the adoption of this resolution, the chair or other duly authorized member of the planning board shall cause a copy of this resolution to be filed in the, with the town clerk and a copy sent to the applicant owner. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Second from John and votes as follows. Uh, Michael? Aye. Jason? Aye. John Cutler? Aye. Craig? Aye. Steve Caswell? Aye. John Eichmann? Aye. And myself? Aye. The motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next item on our agenda is the Hunter's Ridge amended subdivision plan for four lots on Devon Farms Road. Pam, do we have everything we need to open that public hearing? Yes. Okay. Hunter's Ridge. Okay. Goldie do, I have, do I have a motion to open the public hearing? So move. I have a motion second. and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Hunter's Ridge, four lot subdivision. This used to be an eight lot subdivision with a town road. Um, it was about 650 foot in length. Um, obviously, it had um, disturbances associated with the construction of the town road and, and eight lots because of the economy and. Um, the applicant unable to secure a potential developer to purchase the eight lots. We've dialed it back and we're doing four lots now, uh, four individual driveways accessing off of Devon Farms. Um, if you look at lots uh, two and three, we have the driveway entrances uh, come to a point on Devon Farms Road to minimize the uh, curb cuts along Devon Farms. Um, with this uh, layout, we are basically holding disturbance envelopes that we've had in the previous application so we could hold Board of Health and um, uh, test well locations that we've done previously. So we tried to recover as much work as we could. Um, and, and that's basically it. It's just a, a, a bigger, it's a scaled down version of what we proposed before. Okay. Um, I think we had one comment from the Fire Advisory Board asking <clears throat> if 
lots one and two pull-offs could face each other so they could have a turnaround in the event of an emergency. Is that on the plan that way now, or is that a? That was something that we do, we discussed with Scott after um, we submitted, but we we're amenable to doing that. Okay. What we'll probably do is we'll probably have to have some kind of a barrier in between just to make sure that we're not but a but like a mountable curb or something like something that something like that or maybe some rip wrap that you know if the fire trucks do have to cross they can still do it okay um i think one of the only things um that we did maintain from the original subdivision and i forgot to ask or tell you there's a conservation area on top um where the where the the knoll is um no structures or disturbance up there and then along the rear side along eater we had a previously a 25 foot no cut zone um, that still remains on the plan um, so we are going to maintain that as well um, as far as stormwater goes we're under the, the disturbance threshold, so it'll be individual treatment, rain gardens, things like that, vegetative swales. Okay. Michelle, do you want to, any comments or? Okay. <clears throat> nope, I think we're, I, I mean, the only comment I have is basically that the proposed action is obviously less disturbance, so as far as Seeker is concerned, um, there's no no impact related to this and um, and essentially we analyzed all the potential there would be for impacts during the neg deck for the original approval okay. two things one okay. I guess there's a well casing adjacent to lot two driveway and, and the plan for that is is that to be abandoned or no we're going to maintain that but we'll probably do is that driveway it's shown graphically in the center of the lot, but what we'll probably do is swing the driveway over slightly um, to avoid the well casing, and probably there's a lot of boulders on site, so we'll probably put a couple of boulders around it. To right, but protection. you can physically navigate around that well and still maintain right. the driveway on this parcel. And Correct. All that. Okay. All right, so that's number one. And then uh, last time we also had a discussion about the, the timing of getting the, uh, the grading done. Mm -hmm. along the road and the driveway culvert if, if necessary we, we talked about that prior to the signing of the map so we just need to finalize a plan for that right we'll, we'll provide um, some more information on that as we move through the process but the what the applicant would like to do and I think we discussed this at the last meeting was um, since we have three driveway cuts along Devon Farms um, in order to you know avoid this this kind of cavern effect is just um, while we you know while we're in the preliminary approval stage is have the ability to go on site um, and excavate back slightly so it's a nice uniform pitch instead of having that cavernous effect with the driveways and we'd like to do that before final but obviously while we're in the preliminary stage okay. I think it's something similar to we did uh, on another project where we need it right away mm -hmm. or a site distance and they right. went in and established that site Doing distance the site before, work. We, before we signed the map so it's is that done is that on all four lots or is that just the it's just it's, it's all uh, four, right it's just around the drive the three curb I think cuts. it would involve the four lots it right? involve the four lots and okay. it was just to avoid like temporary easements and additional tourney a time so if we could just handle that on site um, the only thing I would add is that we not, not that we necessarily well I don't know do you have an erosion control plan currently that kind of incorporates that uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll we'll forward that to you okay we'll review it with you. Um, Scott, how would you describe that work if we're going to make it a condition in the resolution to allow the applicant to move forward with that prior to the signing of the plan? I don't know. I think the, um, the regrading of the frontage to uh, provide, you know, site distance and access to the individual lots, uniform regrading. Right. Can you work with that? Site distance. Site distance, and you said something else. Just proper access onto the right of way, onto the road. So the grading is going to be within the right of way and partially onto the, uh, the lots themselves. It will be uh, uniform regrading along the frontage to provide adequate site distance and uh, proper slope. Yeah. Driveway, driveway, slope. Okay, slope so I for the individual <laughs> lots. Just for, can we see somebody move a hand and kind of show us the affected area? To just, just be right where the three curb cuts. Right, are. but I mean, and, and and that is the the extent that you're talking about, yes. Scott. Yes. The no. circle he just drew that was yes. okay. It'll probably be, if you look at where the right of way is, maybe 20 feet back into the property. Okay, 25. 
So applicant may regrade the frontage of the four lots to provide uniform site distance grading and access to the parcels. I missed some, you said something about slopes and I missed it. Uniform slope, no slope? Yeah, uniform. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I guess in addition to that, he should also provide uh, either seed, I would say seed and mulch, get it, get it established. Yep, seed and mulch, yep. We'll, we'll detail that and we'll provide that on an erosion control plan for Scott to obviously review before we okay. do any work. Would it be your intent to, you're, you're not going to actually uh, put driveway aprons in or anything at this time? You're just going to get the rough grading done? Just get the rough grading done. And this action probably wouldn't happen until we get into the actual germination se right. season. That's fine. That's best. And the material that you excavate, are you going to store on site or are you going to Correct. remove? You're going to store on site? Everything will be on site and we'll stabilize. Okay. So you'll have a construction entrance for that purpose. Okay. And you'll seed and mulch whatever you stockpile, obviously. Okay. So I, um, I added all disturbed area to be seeded and stabilized. The town engineer will review the regrading plan prior to any work being started. Perfect. Okay. All right, Brian, any, anything else that you need to do ahead of time or you're expecting to do? Okay. That's it. All right. Any other questions or comments from board members? Okay. Do we have anyone from the public that would like to um, uh, offer questions or comments on the Hunter's Ridge? Come on up. I'll have you sign in. We have, we have a clipboard. We just capture your name for our minutes and then you can come right to the podium. Hi, uh, my name is Fran Milanese. We own the house that's on the rear side of the uh, property. We were at the last public hearing where you created the conservation zone to move the swale in 25 feet, the zone that's still there. I see that the conservation zone is still there and the swale is apparently not necessary now that it's down into four private lots. The concern that I have still is water. <coughs> um, the, lot, the lots were cleared, I think January 2015, they came in and did a big clearing of the lots. They came back all the way to the line of disturbance. Um, since that point, we've been getting water in our basement. It's not water that's coming down off the slope, it's actually coming up from underneath. So I don't know if there's any resolution. We got water in 2015, we got it in 2016, we put a sump pump um, in. We didn't get any water in 2017. We've gotten it twice in, in the pump hole um, so far this year, usually with heavy rains, usually when the ground is frozen. Um, I don't know what, my concern is that there's gonna be more clearing, so I don't know, if, you know how much more vegetation there is to soak that up. We have really great groundwater. I mean, when we put our well in, they couldn't time the water when we hit, it was like a gusher. So we do have it. Um, so that's one concern that I have because there's a lot of vegetation that's been taken down not, that's not absorbing that water. Um, and I don't know if that, what can be done about that as far as engineering. The other one is the surface water. Um, there's not going to be the swale, but my biggest concern is the driveways that are coming down and going behind, um, well, in front of the house that's there. They're coming down the two driveways that are going up to the lots at the top part of that. Okay. Um, my concern is that they don't slope down towards our property, especially if they're, because right now we're down, we actually come downhill um, and then it goes down to my neighbor in front and then it goes, we're kind of in a little bit of a valley there. Um, we had a deed restriction on our property for water that comes from the opposite side of Eater Road. We had to put a four foot culvert pipe in. We had to build our driveway up because the water comes down and drains that way on the other side. Um, I'm concerned because when, the, when we have a thaw, when we have a heavy rain, the water comes down. We have a little bit of a, a V in the, our backyard so we drain it down and away from our house and down to the front of the property, I'm concerned that that's going to become a little bit more stronger. We're, we've started having water puddle down at the front part of the property, which is not a big deal as far as, you know, we don't 
use that part of the property. But I just wonder if there's something that can be restricted so that when those driveways are put in that they drain down the driveway and down onto Devon Farms or to that road. Okay. on that so that they're not draining. I mean, I'm, I don't know if they're going to be black topped right away or if they're just going to be dirt driveways. I know you said there was going to be a mound between the two driveways. I just don't know if they can be built up so that they drain away I from I believe they have to be paved because of the slope, so I, I believe they will be paved, yes. Okay, so that even is a more of a concern because the water would rush down faster. So the question is, is can there be something that states that when those driveways are put in that the drainage is set to so that it comes down the driveway and goes down? I, I assume Devon Farms Road has drainage systems on it that should be able to handle that. Um, well, I don't know that draining it down to Devon Farms is the answer, but we certainly will take a look at that. Right, because so we can come up with. Yeah. Right, because like I said, we we have a sump pump. It's been handling the water. Did you always have a sump pump no. in your house? No, no. We put it in in 2017. Did you have a sump in your basement? No. You had to install a sump. Yes. Okay. Um, we what was happening, um, and it ha it started in 2015. We, the water was coming up. You could watch. You could see the wall get wet as it came up. Um, it's only in our utility room we were able to vacuum it and keep up with it until the rain stopped. You point out on the map where you're located. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, yeah, I'm having. We are. We're straight down from Brian's house. Yeah, I got a, I got a simple solution. I could. Oh, okay. okay. If you want. Okay. I can well, let's, uh, let, let's make sure we heard all Devon comments Devon and then we'll bring you back up front. Are you on Devon Farms Road or you come off another road? We're on Eater Road. Eater Road? All right. Yeah. I see the house. We're on Eater Road. Um, the water would come up. It came up to a point where it actually poked a hole through the two of the blocks and it would, if it got up that high, it was like a little spout coming in. The, for 15 and 16, we vacuumed it as it rained. Mm -hmm. um, and then we decided to put a sump pump in. Mm -hmm. Um, we went down. We do have footing drains around the house. Mm -hmm. um, so the sump pump is working, mm -hmm. um, but we may have to do a little bit more because of the way the water drains. The sump pump's picking up this water here, but it's not picking up water that's going towards the front of the house. What's your address? 602 Eater Road. Okay. Okay. When you sign in, can you just put your phone number down? Sure, I'll go. Yep. So that really is my biggest concern is, okay. you know, creating more water. Okay. Before we call Brian up, do you have any other comments? You can always come back up later, but okay. Can Great. I? Do you want me just to put my phone number? Yes, up that before would be I terrific. Forget. Yeah. And Brian, you can come on back up. Yeah, well, you said no. you have a solution. You. Yeah. What we'll do is I mean, we've already cleared because we, we anticipated putting that that large swale on mm -hmm. the side, so the area is already cleared. So what we can do is we can create a berm and direct that water. Whatever sheds off that off that hillside, we can we can direct it away from her property. Okay. Um, Two. So I mean, we're this, this whole area here is clear. So what we can do is, you know, um, and that should pick up any additional water from any of the disturbance for those four lots, especially yeah. for the two houses. Yeah, and two or also two. with with these driveways are going to be paved because one of their length and two of their slope. Um, we plan on treating. We have to treat the impervious increases. So uh, along those driveways, we're going to have bioretention areas that are right off the side of the driveway, and they actually treat the water and they force it into the ground, and the plants absorb it. So it's a natural, natural filtering mechanism. So that should be, that'll, that'll, that'll reduce any flow coming down. And if there is, but if it's a heavy downpour or something like that, yeah, you can put the swale in to yeah. help where's, divert the, or sorry, that? a berm in to help divert yeah. the water. Where's that berm going to be in relation where's to our route it to, Brian? There's a, I mean, right, right down here, we have trees. So are you intending to provide then an easement across the other lots to preserve, preserve that swale? You know, if, if that's what we have to do. We'd have to, because otherwise the neighbor could just fill it in and then it doesn't work anymore, right. so. I mean, that's fine. I, I, th I Actually, I think the easement descriptions are already there because we had an easement over that area before. But we should get together and think about what the best, you know, whether that's the best solution or maybe some bioretention further up. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. How far is that berm going to be from our house? Uh, about 100 feet. 
because not only you know she raises a good point even the the house I don't know if that's lot two and even you know lot the, the, the bottom lot the bottom lot is lot one or lot four bottom lots lot four then we hit three three they're in between so you even want to make sure that three and four aren't impacted by those driveways so I mean we'll take a look at that yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm just taking notes. Bear with me. Scott, are you going to go out there? Yeah, okay. yeah. We'll, we'll, you know, we need a little time, but we'll figure out some. All right. So what we will do is we'll add a condition in our resolution that the applicant and the town engineer will work together to figure out the best way to make sure that that water doesn't come onto your property. Um, and that they have different ways that they can divert water or, um, like um, Brian was saying, can treat and capture the water before it actually kind of leaves the property. So. So at um, the end, we may have to provide some easements or we might even have to tweak okay. a few property lines. We'll have to work through that. Okay. Scott, is that something that you would want to have worked out before we close the public hearing? Or are you comfortable with that as a condition of the resolution that they can't no, move forward until it's condition. resolved? I'm comfortable as a condition. Okay. Okay. So it'll be a requirement for the applicant before they can actually file their map that they would have a plan for how to make sure that the water doesn't exit their property in anywhere but an appropriate location, which would be a culvert or, um, like Brian was saying, maybe this directly to the stream or something like that. And Scott's got your number, and we'll, I'm right across the street, and we can, I'll give you a copy of the plan. Okay. Show you you what we're know doing. where he lives. <laughs> is there anyone else that would like to offer um, comment on the Hunters Ridge application or has any questions? Okay. All right. Um, do you have any questions for us, Brian? Okay. Thanks, so for, thanks for entertaining us for so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm thanking you. Well, it seems like now you're, you're I'm you're thanking you. That never happens. <laughs> Your father <laughs> submitted this proposal, as I recall. Uh, yeah, and yeah, my, <laughs> my kids will be working on it still when I'm done. <laughs> um, so I, I think uh, we're close here. I've got the pull-offs at approximately the 500-foot mark for driveways one and two to face each other per the fire advisory board comments. Um, that you may regrade the frontage of the four lots just to provide, and we, oh, that language is the same, provide <coughs> uniform slope, site no, distance, grading, and access to the parcels um, with the condition that it be seated and stabilized and approved by Scott before you start. And then the additional condition that you will review the drainage exiting the easterly side of the property and ensure that it is appropriately attenuated. I don't know what the right other word is for that, but. Um, Sounds good. Attenuated. attenuated and limited so it doesn't affect other properties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions or comments before we close the public hearing? Okay. Movement to close the public hearing. Second. Okay. I have a motion and a second to close the public hearing. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. <clears throat> um, we also have a resolution for final site plan approval. Does somebody want to offer that resolution? Sure. Thank you, John. Uh, resolution of final site plan approval. Name of site plan Hunters Ridge. Name of applicant IRT Holdings LLC. Location Devon Farm Road. Resolution offered by Planning Board member John Cutler. Whereas the applicant has filed for and gotten a final approval for a nine lot subdivision. And whereas the action is considered to be an unlisted action under seeker for which a coordinated review was not undertaken. And whereas the planning board granted pre preliminary approval on October 7th, 2008, and extended thereafter, and whereas due to the economic climate, the applicant has had a difficult time selling the lots in the subdivision. And whereas the applicant submitted a revised four lot subdivision plan to reduce the infrastructure costs associated with the subdivision. Whereas the board has determined that, that the revised subdivision plan reduces the potential for envi environmental impacts. And whereas the board has determined that revised, the revised subdivision plan meets the town requirements for final site plan approval, subject to the conditions set forth below. Now therefore, be it resolved that the planning board hereby issues final site approval 
for the above project as represented on a map entitled Hunter's Ridge Subdivision Phase 2, prepared by Gillespie and Stratoski Consulting oh. Engineers. P uh, sorry about that. I'm that very I'm sorry. I, sorry. <laughs> I, I tried. Get, I don't think there's a ski. That doesn't no, end in a ski. Plug, huh? Okay, well, I, um, <laughs> I apologize. Uh, dated November 30th, 2017, and revised through today, December 20th, or there's no date there. Uh, what's your What's your last date on this map? Sorry about that. Oh, just November 30th. So you can just strike okay, the so and we revise can strike through. Strike that. Awesome. Okay. Be it further resolved that this approval is subject to the following conditions, which must be completed before the plan is signed by the planning board chair. Number one, the modification set forth in the town engineering's letter of December 11th, 2017. The plat, and number two, the plat will contain the written approval of Dutchess County Health, De Health Department before it's signed by the chairperson. Okay, and, and I'll add the got, rest of it, that's all right. Rest, go right ahead. Number three will be the pull-offs at approximately <laughs> 500 feet between the driveways of lots one and two to face each other per fire advisory board recommendation on 12-5-2017. Um, this was specifically to allow fire trucks to be able to do a, a to turn around if necessary during an emergency. Um, Number four will be applicant may regrade the frontage of the four lots to provide uniform slope, slight dis site to distance grading and access to the That's parcels. So All disturbed area to be seated and stabilized. The town engineer will review the regrading plan prior to any work being started. I'm gonna say actually will approve, not review, will approve the regrading plan. You'll just work with uh, Scott to make sure that is appropriate. Uh, and then number five will be, and just, I said the easterly drainage on the property. Is that the correct direction? Um, my eyes are a little bit challenged. Correct, with that's it. correct. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the easterly drainage on the property will be reviewed by the town engineer and the applicant to assure it is properly attenuated both at the driveways and prior to exiting the property so it does not impact adjoining lots on either, on Eater Drive, E-D-E-R, like, okay, Eater Drive. Questions or comments, other additions? Okay. Okay, be it further resolved with that within five business days of the adoption of this resolution, the chair or other duly authorized member of the planning board shall cause a copy of this resolution to be filed with the town clerk and a copy sent to the applicant owner. Okay, I have, uh, we've offered the resolution. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Michael and votes as follows. Michael? Aye. Jason? Aye. John C? Aye. Craig? Aye. Steve? Aye. John E? Aye. And myself, aye, the motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Today's vocabulary word, <laughs> attenuated. Is that the wrong word? I thought <laughs> no, that was the right, I think that's okay. no, it's the right word. <laughs> All, right. All right, that was the last item on our agenda. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Oh, second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank Happy you. New Year. I know it's been a while since I we got together. So.